What's going on guys? So I'm doing a little update on my 35 cube uh, from Deep Blue. Let's go ahead and check it out. Here it is. This is week two or three of it up so far. Um, don't mind the water being a little irky looking it's because I just tried making a video before and epically failed. But um, as you can see, my hammer is retracted again. Don't know why. Um, my Kenya tree is doing its little shed process, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm not really too concerned about that. It does that every once in a while. Um, but yeah, so some of the things I changed from week one to now is I put the JBAL PP15 in here, which is, I know it's way too big. But if you look at the side, it's more or less slamming into rocks, which is causing a nice water movement behind my rocks as well. Um, as you can see, it actually is working nicely, keeping water flow behind there, so no, nothing can settle back there, no sediment, no honey and food, waste, whatever. And then, so that's going behind there, and my return is coming, bouncing and whipping around, as you can see, with my waving hands. And we got a nice water flow going to it, and then, so, let's go ahead. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but I believe my clownfish are spawning. Since I started taking videos here, the male has been out, and the female has been way more aggressive. Um, if you look it up, when they start spawning, pairing, whatever you want to call it, spawning, um, the females will get more aggressive, the males become more protective, and he likes to hide down in here somewhere. So, and of course, I can't check in here very well to see if these guys are laying eggs. Um, no, but I'm not sure because this guy's in here a lot too, so I'm not sure. Okay. Again, a little. So I'm not sure if there were eggs. They got in. I'm not sure, but you can see how the female <laughs> she's aggressive. But for coral updates, they're actually doing really well. And here are these purple and blue mushrooms. They were never the size that they are now. Never that big. You can kind of see the blue. I got too much, too much water moving on the surface. So yeah, and then my orange tip recordia. I don't know the actual name of the type it is. Looks like he's eating starfish. You can't really see. See that white in the center? Yep, that's a little starfish. He's chewing on. And then my green, no clue what these guys are called either. They're doing quite well. We got three of them, they separated. <laughs> Throw the clownfish out again. And let's see, my zoas. They're doing well, as long as my button polyps are doing well as well. thing I added back in was my next reef reactor um, filled it with carbon I have the hydro pump doing it this is quite a decent sized pump head I use 4 point or 6.4 feet so it's got some pretty good water movement um, you just see the bubbles from the return are again pushed around and I also got my return there. So I haven't gotten any Cheeto. My return chamber. 
Push the bowl down. And I got my little bucket here for adding water. Alright, so yeah, that's about it for the update. Check out the overflow again. If I wouldn't have known what I know now, this little piece down here, I would have left on here and actually raised it up a little more, but... It works. Not bad, so... Alright, you guys have a good one. Let me know what you guys think.